Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today what we have for you is the Water Cool Heat Killer 4 Pro for Threadripper. And uh, we've got you here. We're going to do the unboxing and we're going to do a disassembly on it as well to see what's inside. And uh, Heat Killer was nice enough to get this over to us. We've been waiting for this one. Obviously this one came from Germany, watercool.de. Let's see what we got here. Heat Killer 4 Pro for Threadripper. So looks like we got the right box. Simple mounting instructions. Cool, that looks pretty easy. I have, uh, I like the way that these mount with the, uh, without all the springs and the, or the mounting posts. So let's get this out of here. Uh oh. Frag Harder Disco Light Connection. See this. There's our mounting hardware. See if we missed anything in there. Down in our box. They do have a nice hex key for us. So we've got our hex key, which uh, obviously you can see where you could get a lot of leverage on that for a long throw, which they don't want you to do. Our mounting hardware. Oh, I like these springs already. One thing that we have seen with all of our thread ripper is uh, that these hold down springs are very important and these have very, very good tension on them. I like that already. That's, uh, the hold down hardware looks very much like what we saw with uh, the Bixky block and uh, also another one of the Chinese blocks and that's not to uh, not to put anything against it and, and quite in fact I, I like these hold downs I think a little bit better we'll see how these perform obviously it comes down to uh, performing correctly so here she is in all of her glory there we go looks really nice Very nice. And a beautiful top on that as well. So let's see uh let's see what all is inside. So let's pop our top here. I like laying down. This one was so pretty. I laid down some blue tape on there so we don't mar it up as we move it around the bench. And as you see, holy shazbot. That is a whole lot of, whole lot of fin area. Got our flow plate. O-ring, nice and down in there, being held in place. Easy to take apart and put back together. Got another tiny O-ring right there around the edge of our flow plate. Obviously, we got input coming in here, flowing down onto the center of our pattern, of our fins, our micro fins, and then spreading out both ways and then recirculating. So there's our... Uh, Frag harder disco lights. Those are always cool. Um, but quite frankly, I'm going to leave those out for right now because they make testing a little bit easier when they're not there. So our top plate is aluminum, which uh, you might have seen how much torque it took to get some of those off there. So uh, some of the screws out. So you're seating your, your threads back into aluminum and it was a very, very rigid very rigid um, fastener fix. So our visual aid, our active cores showing the black here. Uh, so look at that. That is a thing of beauty. So now what we've shown in some other videos is 
is that we didn't have footprint to begin with. Obviously, we have enough footprint here to cover the cores no matter how you went about it. But these should lay out lengthwise like this. So what you have is you have the flow coming right down to the middle and then breaking and going both ways. So what you do is, so the flow path is going across the short side of these dies in this direction and in this direction, well the black one's this direction and in this direction. So that means instead of having fluid flowing long ways over them like we've seen on some of the other blocks, we'll have, if physics is right, we'll have more cold water coming across the dies on the short side. Which, uh, so, so just looking at this gets me really excited about how this block might perform. Uh, we'll get it put back together and definitely on the uh, testing bench this weekend. It's supposed to be cold back here in North Texas again, so I can keep the uh, office very nice and uh, to a uh, perfect temperature where we can compare it against our other uh, water blocks. There you go. That's unboxing and breakdown of the Heat Killer 4 TR4 Pro, which is our Heat Killer 4 Pro, the acrylic and a nickel with our black uh, plate. This is from uh, watercool.de. We'll get it testing this weekend. This is Kyle Bennett from Hardo CP.